Lecture 7, Part 2 Tuberculosis, Sepsis Tuberculosis is the chronic infection disease. It is characterized by formation of caseous necrosis and granulomatous inflammation around the lesion. It is tuberculous granuloma, tubercle appears. Roughly one quarter of the world's population has been infected with mycobacteria tuberculosis, with new infection occurring in about 1% of the population each year. However, most infections with mycobacteria do not cause TB disease, and 90-95% uh, of infections uh, remain asymptomatic. Tuberculosis is the second most common cause of death from infectious disease, after uh, those due to uh, HIV. Tuberculosis is more uh, common in developing countries, about 80% of the population in many Asian and African countries. Test positive in tuberculin tests, uh, while only 5-10% of developing countries population uh, test positive. Tuberculosis has the, several peculiarities. It is ubiquitous or common infection. Clinic manifestations are uh, differ depending on immunological status of organism. Chronic disease with the alteration of uh, exacerbation and remission phases. Epidemiology, tuberculosis transfers uh, mostly as a droplet infection. The patient and carrier persons are the uh, reservoir of the disease. The lungs are more commonly affected by tuberculosis than in other organ. Tuberculosis is common infection, usually in childhood. In advanced countries, where the incidence is lower, uh, the initial lesions of tuberculosis may be delayed until adult life, and certainly the serious forms of this disease are usually uh, found in uh, older individuals. Less commonly, an individual catches the infection by alimentary way, by contaminated food and milk, uh, with the localization of primary tuberculosis focus in distal part of ileum really may uh, enter by the other way, skin, lesion, really to be in, involved skin, uh, oropharynx, tonsils, lymphoid tissue, um, placenta, for example. Incubation period is indistinctive. The cause of TB is mycobacterium tuberculosis, a small uh, aerobic uh, non motile bacillus. Mycobacteria have an outer membrane, lipid uh, layer, resistance box component. Uh, Mycobacteria tuberculosis can withstand weak um, disinfectants and uh, survive in a dry state for weeks. In nature, the bacterium can grow only within cells of a host organism. There are four types of TB. Uh, Mycobacteria hominis, uh, Mycobacteria bovis, avium, and intercellulare. Uh, Mycobacterium uh, hominis and bovis are uh, pathogenic for humans. Lung involvement is a major cause of uh, morbidity and mortality. In developing uh, world, Mycobacteria bovis causes oropharyngeal and intestinal tuberculosis. In this slide, you can see the period stage of the formation of granuloma. Mycobacteria tuberculosis primarily infects macrophages. Sequence of development of granuloma is follow. Uh, one, two days, uh, first two days, occurs infiltration by polymorphs. In one week, polymorphs are replaced by macrophages. In two weeks, macrophages are converted to epithelioid cells, elongated and arranged around a central focus of caseous necrosis, producing a tubercle. The granuloma consists of caseation at the center, surrounded by T lymphocytes, uh, lung giant cells, epithelioid cells, a few 
uh, reticulin strands. AIDS patients uh, may lack granuloma and have more severe disease. Uh, tuberculosis is related to a group of specific inflammation. It is, uh, remains prevalent in developing countries. Transmission is from person to person via airborne droplets. Infections uh, may be uh, dormant for years. And um, the Montour tuberculin skin test is often used to screen people uh, at high risk for TB. According to pathogenetic, clinical, and morphological peculiarities, there are three forms of tuberculosis. Primary tuberculosis, seen in non-immune children in first contact with tuberculosis. Hematogenic tuberculosis, develops a year later after the clinically um, healed primary tuberculosis and occurs as a recidivation of the process. And secondary tuberculosis, a recurrence of tuberculosis infection in a later uh, occurs in children and um, adults who have had a primary infection. There are the following peculiarities of the primary tuberculosis. Appears in first contact with pathogen. Usually children and teenagers are involved. Due to absence of immunity against the TB, the morphogenesis is distinctive with formation of the primary complex. Primary site is usually situated at the periphery of the right lung, 95%. But uh, primary site may be also occasionally in the small intestine, 4%, or very rarely, 1%, uh, pharynx, tonsil, or skin. Hypersensitivity reaction of immediate type uh, occurs uh, with development of the exudative and necrotic process at the involved site. The process is prone to generalization. During the remission uh, phase, the paraspecific change as Ponset rheumatism develop. Macroscopically, primary complex or gone complex is seen which consists of three components. Primary tuberculosis focus or primary effect, caseous lymphangitis and lymphadenitis. Primary effect, the focus 1 to centimeter, uh, where bacilli insert the tissue, usually the 3rd, 8th, 9th, and 10th uh, subleveral segments near mid zone of right lung. Rapid development of small aggregates of tubercles with caseation is formed. The um, elastic and reticulum fibers remain at this site for years. Lesions usually undergo fibrosis, calcification, so-called gun focus, and uh, cause no symptoms. As you see in the right part of the slide, uh, this is the uh, calcified gun focus and calcified um, lymph nodes. Lymphangitis. Tubercles from along lymphatic uh, tracts extending from effect to local, it is healer lymph nodes, Caseous lymphangitis appear. Lymphadenitis rapidly the process spreads to local healer tracheobranchial lymph nodes. This process is called bronchoadenitis. Then bifurcational and mesen, uh, mediastinal lymph nodes. In gastrointestinal tract, as you see in the lower part, uh, the left corner of the uh, slide, a primary effect is located in lymphoid follicles of ileum and secum, and is seen as ulceration on the intestinal wall. And the process spreads to mesenterial lymph nodes, developing uh, mesadenitis. Subsequent development variants of primary tuberculosis. Healing, chronicity of the primary tuberculosis infection, extension of the primary tuberculosis infection. Healing, this is the commonest result. Most commonly, primary tuberculosis is cell-limited uh, with the replacement uh, by connective tissue with the further calcification. Resolution of caseous process in lymph nodes is uh, delayed and the TB may remain here. This condition may lead to chronicity of the primary tuberculosis. 
chronicity of the primary tuberculosis, infection occurs due to insufficient uh, resolution of tuberculosis process in lymph nodes with the spreading to the neighboring lymph nodes. Change in immunological homeostasis cause the um, alternation of the remission and recidivation processes. Uh, paraspecific reactions resembling rheumatism, Ponset's disease, is characteristic. Uh, separation of the immunological homeostasis can result in extension of tuberculosis process to adjacent tissues and to the uh, organs. Generalization occurs. This process may develop in five forms. Contact way. This is direct extension of the primary tuberculosis focus. Lymphatic spread occurs due to the involvement of lymph nodes. Hematogenic dissemination by blood vessels. Canalicular way by anatomic channels. And mixed form. During the healing, exudative process is firstly alternated by the proliferative reaction then is replaced by connective tissue with the further uh, calcification leaving fibrotic small gone focus, as you see in the picture, a whitish area. Proceeding calcification results in uh, metaplastic bone formation, ossification um, uh, at, this, at this side. Contact way is the most serious condition. Spread from the primary focus occur in debilitated patients. Tuberculosis focus extends to the surrounding lung tissue and becomes larger, even covers the whole lobe. Caseous lower pneumonia develops with involvement of the pleura. See, as you see in the picture, the uh, pneumatic uh, patches break down uh, with a, a large amount of caseous material discharging into the bronchus. Primary acute lung cavern may develop. If the lesion is encapsulated by fibrotic tissue, it is called as chronic lung cavern. Lymphatic spread. Uh, spread of the process from the previously affected local healer nodes uh, to the other groups of lymph nodes, tracheobronchial, bifurcation, uh, mediastinal, axillary, and neck lymph nodes. Pressure of enlarged nodes on bronchi with obstruction may lead to a collapse, a retention of secretion and inflammatory uh, consolidation, defined as bronchoadenitis. Hematogenic dissemination, inversion of blood vessels, uh, will lead to dissemination via the bloodstream, giving rise to tuberculosis foci simultaneously in many organs. These foci may be of tiny size, as Millet said, and miliary tuberculosis develops. If the tuberculosis foci larger than one centimeter, large focal tuberculosis occurs. The process may um, uh, have the general character or can affect the individual organs, as tuberculosis meningitis, uh, pulmonary miliary tuberculosis, etc. That is commonly due to tuberculosis meningitis. Uh, TB may remain in foci even after scarring, and the further forms of tuberculosis will uh, originate from them. For example, such focus in lung is called Simon focus, which uh, can be localized in pulmonary apex. Canalicular way is the spreading of the tuberculosis through anatomic channels. For example, the spreading of caseous material through the bronchial uh, tree to other parts of the lung. Mixed form, the dissemination routes uh, described above can be operative and usually occurs in extremely debilitated patients. Hematogenic tuberculosis. This form of tuberculosis develops years later after the clinically healed primary tuberculosis and occurs as recidivation of the process. The lesion uh, types can be originated from the clinically healed hematogenic disseminated focuses of primary tuberculosis, as, uh, for example, uh, Simon foci, or more frequently tuberculosis spread from residual change in intrathoracic classified lymph nodes. 
under the influence of different uh, uh, favorable endogenic and exogenic factors as physical and psychological traumas, viral infections, pregnancy, delivery, hardworking conditions, insufficiency of nutrition, influence negatively um, act on immunity and able to revert into virulent and reproductive forms. Hematogenic tuberculosis is uh, characterized by a productive inflammatory reaction in contrast to exudative reaction occurring in primary infection. The process is prone to generalization. There are three variants of hematogenic tuberculosis. Generalized hematogenic tuberculosis, hematogenic tuberculosis confined to the lungs, and extrapulmonary hematogenic tuberculosis. Generalized hematogenic tuberculosis uh, is usually a generalized condition with dissemination of process throughout the body. This is the most serious form of disease in debilitated person, the fulminant tuberculosis sepsis, Landuzi uh, disease develops, which is the fatal condition. Sometimes spreading of process in different organs with granuloma production occurs, so-called acute common miliary tuberculosis. Chronicity also may occur if lesions are larger, the common large focus tuberculosis develops. Hematogenic tuberculosis confined to lungs. If the infection originated from simon uh, or simon fossae, invades a branch of a pulmonary artery, the process may be confined to the lungs initially. Other organs are not involved, or a few focuses may occur. Uh, usually the lesions are more numerous and appear in both lungs. According to the clinical course, process may be acute or chronic. Due to the size of involved area, the tuberculosis focuses may be of miliary or large focus type. And extrapulmonary hematogenic tuberculosis uh, is characterized by the uh, preferential involvement of different organ system. These lesions are originated from the hematogenic disseminated focuses of primary tuberculosis at the same localization and may be a focal form or a large uh, focal form, destructive tuberculosis. In the pulmonary form of um, hematogenic tuberculosis, the lungs are intensely congested. Milial tubercles um, all are of roughly uh, same size, one to two millimeter, as you see in the pictures, more numerous in the upper lobes. Um, at first translucent and gray, later become larger, opaque and yellow. Chronicity of the process is uh, complicated by the emphysema, pneumosclerosis, and corpulmonale, hypertrophy of right ventricle. In this slide, you can also see the involvement of the liver and spleen. According to prevalence of tuberculosis process, the following forms of extrapulmonary hematogenic tuberculosis are recognized. Tuberculosis meningitis develops in the form of leptomeningitis with uh, the involvement of the pia mater. Prognosis is usually fatal. The preferential sites of the osteoarticular um, involvement are spondylitis, inflammation of vertebra, gonitis, the injury of the knee joint, coxal arthritis, involvement of hip joint. As a result, the formation of skeleton appears. Tuberculosis involvement of urogenital tract, salpingitis, prostatitis, endometritis also occur. Secondary tuberculosis. This is a recurrence of tuberculosis infection in later life. This occurs in older children and adults who have had a primary infection or have received BCG vaccination, by which a variable degree of immunity to the tubercle bacillus has been established. Two theories have been suggested in pathogenesis. First is the exogenism or reinfection. This theory suggests recurrence of tuberculosis process is a result of repeatedly getting virulent tubercular infection into the lung, superinfection. Proof of this is more frequency of disease on uh, secondary tuberculosis of people being in contact with a tuberculosis patient. Superinfection may be the uh, reason of hypersensitivity of organism. Second, endogenism or reactivation theory 
By this theory, for development of secondary tuberculosis, new infection is not obligatory. It may occur as a result of recidivation of the or reactivation of the tuberculosis infection in residual tubercular chains after primary tuberculosis that might have a place without considerable clinical uh, symptoms. In such apparently well-healed old scarred and uh, calcified tissue, mycobacteria may stay living for a long time, and it is thought that they are able uh, to reestablish active. The evolution of the disease is much slower than in the primary infection. Gradually progressive disease destroys the lung tissue if the individual's immunity is impaired for any reason. And these risk factors in secondary tuberculosis may be occupational hazards, coal miners and other exposed to silica dust, for example, laboratory workers in contact with infective material, debilitating diseases as diabetes mellitus, alcoholism, congenital diseases, uh, diminished immunological response due to, uh, for example, long-continued uh, corticosteroid ter therapy, surgical operations, nutritional deficiency or AIDS. Uh, the secondary tuberculosis is morphologically, pathogenically and clinically differs from the previous two forms and characteristic features are the following. Uh, it is an independent onset. Process is confined to lung only. Process not prone to generalization by blood and lymph. Extension may occur by uh, intercanalicular route and contact way. The lesions tend to appear in characteristic sites. Tuberculosis is localized on apical part or under clavicles. This is the first and second segments, and upper part of lower lobes, usually right lung. Necrosis induced uh, by the cell mediated immunity. Extension of the lesion is uh, therefore very slow and the healer lymph nodes are not affected. Granomatose inflammatory reaction prevails. There are eight clinical forms of secondary tuberculosis. Each of these eight uh, forms can be assumed at the phase in development of uh, secondary tuberculosis. Uh, acute focal tuberculosis, fibrous focal tuberculosis, infiltrative tuberculosis, tuberculoma, caseous tu pneumonia, acute cavernous tuberculosis, chronic cavernous tuberculosis, and cirrhotic tuberculosis. Acute focal tuberculosis is the beginning stage. Process is localized in first second segments of right lung. Usually single or double caseous focuses, defined as abricasa focuses, are formed. Tubercles may uh, start in the wall of the bronchial uh, or in the lung parenchyma. Development of such uh, fresh exogenic foci starts with endobronchitis of subsegmentary bronchus that transforms into panbronchitis, uh, sometime, sometimes caseous. Around it, uh, there is a formed focus of specific pneumonia, first of exudative, then of productive character. The uh, tubercles becomes confluent and uh, due to the cell-mediated immunity, caseating necrosis quickly takes place. Healing process is uh, accompanied by calcification and fibros encapsulation of caseous focus. Such focus is called ashraf pool focus. Fibrous focal tuberculosis. Due to exacerbation of ashraf pool focus, which undergoes to necrosis and as a result becomes encapsulated by fibrous tissue. Fibrous focal tuberculosis also may be originated from Simon focus, remaining in lung apex. Infiltrative tuberculosis is characterized by formation of the prefocal exudative inflammation around the small necrotic focus, which is referred as Asman Redeker's focus. Formed caseous masses are aspirated into neighboring bronchi and become a basis for new fossae formation. During progressing of process, there is possible increase of infiltration zone, formation of small destructive cavities. Uh, 
This process may be originated by previous two forms and may result in the next consecutive forms. Tuberculoma is an incised mass of infiltrative caseous material which ceases to spread. Process may heal with formation of Ashroff pull focus or uh, the slow extension by the formation of new tubercles and necrosis resulting in caseous pneumonia. Caseous pneumonia occurs in debilitated persons. With the loss of cell mediated immunity, large numbers of disseminated foxes of caseous bronchopneumonia appear. The process may spread to whole lobe, caseous lower pneumonia develops. Related bronchi uh, often show uh, bronchiectasis. Acute cavernous tuberculosis. Commonly, the caseous process uh, patch break down and discharge via bronchi, leaving irregular soft vault cavities behind. Continue a variable amount of caseous uh, mass. Due to discharging of the active bacilli, with sputum, these patients are much more uh, socially dangerous. Chronic cavernous tuberculosis occurs as a chronicity of acute cavernous tuberculosis. New cavities form and um, cause us to form large irregular spaces. The cases material may be completely uh, discharged, uh, leaving a smooth vault fibrous cavity. There is perifocal emphysematose focuses as a lesion extends uh, sooner or later, the necrotizing process will involve a large bronchial and bronchus. Usually, when caseous material is discharged from a chronic tuberculosis cavity into a bronchus, there is no danger of bronchopneumonia. Cell mediated immunity has destroyed most of the bacilli and the macrophages, but debilitating of patients leads to immune suppression with appearances of caseous pneumonia focuses in both lungs. Cirrhotic tuberculosis. In this condition, the body's reparative mechanism is dominant, but not sufficient to ensure complete healing. A slow progressive fibrosis with scarring results. Local vessels undergo uh, in the arteritis with formation of the fibrous cart. Fibrous arteries frequently resist the caseous process and can be seen as rich <coughs> in the wall of cavities. Fibrosis not only occurs around the cavities, but also more diffusely throughout the lung. Lungs lost the normal anatomic structure with deformation and become shrunken. The pleura is usually thickened. This condition is often referred to as fibroid phthisis. Complications of tuberculosis may be hemorrhage and hemoptysis. The blood vessels in the tuberculosis lesions are usually obliterated by endarteritis but occasionally small vessels may rupture, giving rise to hemoptysis. Aneurysm may form in large vessels due to the weakness of the uh, wall, rupture of which may uh, ensure fatal hemorrhage. Tuberculous ulcers of the intestine and larynx sometimes result from direct infection by sputum. Secondary amyloidosis of organs is a common and serious effect of chronic destructive processes. Pneumothorax causes collapse of the lung, pleural effusion, caseous bronchopneumonia, corpus manelli, and cachexy. Sepsis, in Greek for suppuration, is a generalized infection, occurs due to specific relationship between human organism and microorganism, and its development depends on virulence of microorganism, high virulence an immune response of body, hypersensitivity reaction. Sepsis differs from other infections due to its specific features. Etiological features. Sepsis is polyetiologic disease, may be evoked by all microorganisms except viruses. Pathogenic features. Sepsis doesn't, independent disease, and appears uh, secondarily as complication of the other primary infection. Clinical features. Clinical appearances in sepsis are similar in all infections, not related to the types of microorganism, and there is no exact duration of disease. Sepsis can proceed several days or months, even years. Morphological features. Sepsis hasn't characteristic morphological features. 
All these changes may occur in other infections as non-specific appearances. Epidemiological features. Sepsis is a non-communicable disease and cannot be spread directly from one person to another. It is possible to reproduce the disease in experiment. An immunological feature, sepsis doesn't uh, confer immunity. This slide visualized the uh, pathogenic mechanism of sepsis. Uh, bacterial agent uh, entered the organism for portal of entry, reached the uh, lymphatics or blood stream. Bacteremia is an integral stage of some infection, occurs in incubation period uh, of almost all infection diseases. But um, after the reaching bloodstream or lymphatics, few organisms killed by defense mechanisms. But if immunity is failed, bacteria multiply in the blood and may lead to sepsis in the form of septicemia or pyemia. Portal of entry may be in any organ or tissue. According to these features, there are the following types of sepsis. Cryptogenic sepsis, uh, when the portal entry uh, is unknown. According to the site of the entry, there are the following types. Odontogenic, tooth, tonsillogenic, tonsils, autogenic ear, urosepsis, urinary system, therapeutic, digestive system and respiratory tract, surgical, medical manipulations, uterine sepsis, obstetrics manipulations. Umbilical sepsis occur in newborn. In this slide, you see the 10 uh, most frequent etiological factors of sepsis. First for uh, bacteria, this is the streptococci, uh, staphylococci, uh, pseudomonas, uh, colobacillus, are much more frequent uh, causal factors of the sepsis. Clinical classification of sepsis, fulminant sepsis, acute sepsis, subacute sepsis, chronic sepsis. Clinical sept symptoms are fever, shivering, leukocytosis, tachycardia, tachypnoia, anemia, hemosiderosis, jaundice, hypoproteinemia, etc. Morphological changes may be local and general. Local changes occur in portal of entry. And the local lesions otherwise are termed septic complex and include purulent inflammation, lymphangitis, lymphadenitis, purulent phlebitis, and thrombophlebitis. General changes occur in other organs and tissues. There are degenerative and necrotic changes, proteinaceous and lipid degenerations of organs, inflammatory changes, disinterstitial inflammations, vasculitis, and hyperplastic changes. Uh, this is the lymphadenopathy, splenomegaly, hepatomegaly, etc. Clinical morphological forms of sepsis are the following. Sepsemia, septicopyemia or pyemia, septic endocarditis, and chronic sepsis. Septicemia. This is the most frequent form of sepsis and is characterized by the following peculiarities. The most serious condition with severe toxemia, shock, and disturbed immune mechanisms. Most common in children, portal entry is unknown. It is, it is a cryptogenic sepsis. Local changes are not evident. There are not purulent metastases in tissues and organs. General morphological change in organs are obvious. This is the degeneration and necrosis, interstitial inflammations, toxic myocarditis, hepatitis, pneumonia, tubular interstitial nephritis, etc. Hyperplastic change with lymphadenitis, splenomegaly, and extra medullary focuses of hemopoiesis are common. Hemorrhagic syndrome, the petechial rash in skin, mucous membranes, serous coverings, and internal organs, disseminated intravascular coagulation syndrome. Clinical appearances are anemia, leukocytosis, jaundice, general hemosiderosis. In this slide, you see the illustrations of the septicemia. Um, petechial rash in the leg, in the skin, and uh, uh, pericardium. Then you see the hemosiderosis of the liver. And here you see the uh, septic spleen. Longitudinal section of the spleen below uh, showing acute subcapsular infarctions. 
uh, near a microscopic slide. This is septic embolus in arterial of the spleen. Bluish uh, material corresponds to bacterial colonia. Septicopyemia. This is mild form of sepsis, general morphological change and intoxication not evident. Local lesions with formation of septic complex are obvious. Thrombobacterial embolism with septic infections are common. Uh, septic spleen develops multiple purulent metastases. Idiopyamic abscesses are seen on organs and tissues. Pay attention uh, to the picture. You see the pyamic abscesses in different organs. Brain, heart, lungs, kidneys, skin, serous coverings, liver, bone marrow, etc. And septic endocarditis also may occur. Septic endocarditis, bacterial or infectious endocarditis, is a special clinical morphological form of sepsis, first described by William Osler in 1885. The following characteristic features are present. Local lesions occur on heart valves, commonly on aortic valves, and the cardium of uh, cardiac chamber also may involve. Etiology. Causative organisms can be streptococci, revealed in 50-80% uh, of infective endocarditis. Uh, streptococci viridans normally found in the upper um, aerodigestive digestive tract may disseminate during tonsillectomy, dental extraction, dental cleaning, etc., resulting in bacteremia. Staphylococci occur at 20-30% of subacute cases of infective endocarditis and 50% of acute cases. Staphylococcus aureus and Staphylococcus epidermidis are common in patients with indwelling uh, central venous catheter, intravenous drug abusers, diabetic uh, patients, chronic hemodialysis, and uh, prostatic valve endocarditis. Staphylococcal endocarditis can uh, affect functionally normal uh, native valves and cause extensive tissue damage and septic emboli. Enterococci, 5-15% of uh, cases. Less common organisms are Candida, Aspergillus, Histoplasma, and Brucella. Uh, common in intravenous drug abusers, uh, alcoholism, and patients with prosthetic uh, heart valves. Uh, experimental evidence indicates that two factors are needed to establish endocardial infection, uh, endothelial denudation, oval valve cusp with platelet deposition, and episode of bacteremia. In uh, transient bacteremia occurs uh, if this process occurs before the pro uh, protective layer of endocardium uh, forms, colonization of the fibrin may develop and uh, progress to an infected uh, vegetation occur. Uh, this results in erosion uh, of uh, or perforation of valve cusps, leading to valvular aneurysm, perforations, and incompetence damage uh, to conduction pathway or rupture of a, a sinus or valsava. A classification. According to clinical course, uh, the following forms of uh, septic endocarditis are marked out. Fulminant, acute, subacute, chronic. Acute and subacute forms are most common. This is all the classification, which uh, was based on course of uh, untreated disease. Um, newer classification system is based on causative organism, also classified based on native valve or uh, uh, prosthetic valve uh, endocarditis. According to localization, three types of pathomorphological chains can be defined. Heart chains, visceral chains and vascular lesions, and peripheral chains. Septic endocarditis may appear as primary or secondary disease. Primary disease affects intact heart valves. Secondary bacteria usually settle on previously diseased heart valves, for example, rheumatic fever or congenital valve disease, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, 
subaortic stenosis, ventricular aneurysms. Heart change. Damage commonly occur in aortic valves where polymorph ulcerative endocarditis with ulceration and destruction of valve develops. Healing process depends on the degree of valve change in the initial acute phase. Over time, vegetation decreases in size and organize as a fibrous nodules, which may calcify. Cusp fibrosis leads to a cusp thickening and retraction. Along with valvular change, a proliferative interstitial myocardias appears as well. In the picture, also, you can see change uh, in the valves. You see aortic valves with vegetations. Also, at the center, you see the perforation of the valve. And near, uh, you see the microscopical slide of the myocardium. This is the interstitial myocarditis. This blue mass is the bacterial colonia and uh, surrounded by uh, leukocytic infiltrations. And beneath uh, the lower part of the slide, you see the cusps, uh, destroyed cusps, a microscopical slide of vegetation also. Visceral change and vascular lesions. General vasculitis, especially vessels of small and medium calibers, hemorrhagic syndrome in organs, conjunctiva and skin, Interstitial inflammation of internal organs, splenomegaly, arthritis occur. Peripheral change include, you see in the uh, picture all the illustrations, uh, Janeway lesions are flat, painless, transient, non-tender, macular red to blue red purples on planes and uh, soles. Splinter hemorrhage. Small dark lines under the fingernails. Ulcers nodes. Red, painful, tender intradermal lesions found on finger pulps and tenor hypotenor eminences. Lipman Lucan spots. Conjunctival, splinter, or petechial hemorrhage at the level of lower eyelid. Roth spots. A boat shaped hemorrhage with pale center in retina. Uh, drumstick or clubbed fingers uh, occur in long standing disease due to the hypoxia. Embolic or uh, vasculitic skin petechia, jaundice. Complications uh, cardiac failure, aneurysms, systemic infarcts, systemic abscesses renal failure, etc. Chronic sepsis may proceed several years and is characterized by the following peculiarities <coughs> manifested in organs and tissues. Chronic purulent inflammatory foci, degenerations, generalized interstitial inflammation and vasculitis, atrophy and sclerotic change with lipophocinosis, brown atrophy, hemolysis, anemia, hemosiderosis, amyloidosis, cachexia, etc. Thank you for attention.